right, everybody, we are off to an emergency job to go put in five Unify Protect cameras for one of my main clients. This is at a site that I've never been to before, so I'm not sure what we're getting into, but we'll have to install five cameras, run some cables, and check out the network rack, so let's get going. We've now made it to site and this is the network room that we're gonna be working with. We have a bunch of old Cisco gear. You can see the Cisco ME3400 series switch and then a couple uh, of their routers. We're gonna rip these out. I'll probably leave the bell circuit in. Um, I won't touch their equipment, but this is what we'll be working on, this Ubiquiti equipment. We have the UDMSE and then we have the security uh, camera panel, which you can see the cabling's actually not too bad, but we will clean it up. There's a cable here that was just terminated with an RJ45. We'll end up putting a jack on there. And this is only the USW switch. So 16 out of the 24 only have PoE. So we brought a 24 port Pro PoE that gives us 24 across. And we're gonna be adding about five new cameras. We go around the back. You can see that it's a bit of a mess here. Uh, there's cables coming in there that are going into a patch panel. Um, and then this patch panel, they have all RJ45 going down, wrapping around, going back down to the ground, going up into the back of the rack, and that's for the cameras. We're not gonna be cleaning that up today. I'll have to talk to the owners if they want us to clean it up, but you could just see how poorly done uh, these terminations were. Like, look at all the conductors just outside of the sheathing. We'll also take out this neck gear switch as we don't need it. We have a bunch of UPSs, but now we gotta run some cables for the cameras. We now have two of the cables run. What we need to do is put the cameras onto the drop ceiling and I'm gonna let Jay do that. We're gonna end up putting the camera on the side of the drop ceiling because we need to catch the bathrooms. They've been having some issues with it. So we need to catch the doors of people going in and out. So you'll see that on the side of this drop ceiling. We have a G4 bullet outside that's not currently working, so we gotta troubleshoot it. I'm gonna think that there's probably water damage in it. Hopefully the grommet was put on, but we'll do a test with my Net Ally Link Runner AT2, I believe it is, and see if the cable's working. We have the camera down and there is no grommet in it, so maybe it's water damage. We can't get this end off right now. Um, it's really tight on there, so we're gonna have to get some channel locks. And this is why we put the grommet on. You can see that all on the inside of the ethernet port that it's all burnt out. There was water that got in here and damaged this camera. Potentially broke it for good. I have seen these, um, if you use a little brush on the inside, they'll start working eventually. So we're gonna put on a new camera and then hopefully it will work. We re-terminated the end of the cable. We put the new camera on and we made sure that we put the grommet and this camera is now up and operational.
We now have our cables in and we have them terminated as well as a couple other cables that were just running in on RJ45 jacks. I ended up moving the UMBR down to U. Uh, this switch here is gonna go in this rack unit and then we're gonna put the new Pro up so that we don't have these long cables. Unfortunately, I only have yellow six inch patch cables and a couple uh, blue one foot cables. We do have to come back to this job site, so we'll use those temporarily. I need to add a second UMBR to stack for the amount of cameras that they have. And that's as clean as we're gonna be able to get this. We had to use a couple of these one footers that are going down to the old USW switch. Um, this is just for cameras. They originally had a DAC cable going into here and then the MDR plugged into the one gig switch. We now do have a DAC cable and it's going up to port 10, which we turned into a LAN port. So the MDR is getting 10 gig. When we come back to put the other NDR in, we're also gonna put in the aggregation switch so that both of them could have 10 gig as well as the other switch that we have. Now we use these six inch cables, which we will be changing out to blue when we do come back. We have a couple of DAC cables here that are doing the uplinks and then we have our internet connection. We really were just here to run those five cameras as there was a couple security concerns. Now, like you saw in the last shot of the video, this was the final results of what we got with all the cabling in there. These are the only things in that huge 42U network rack. So I have sent an email to my client to see if they want to just put a wall mount on the wall and clean up all those cables. We will be adding an aggregation switch to this and a second UMBR as we need to be able to stack because this UMBR is currently overloaded. And this is the suggestions that I made to my client. This patch panel is feeding pretty well all of the cameras. So what we would want to do is to put a rack up top here and we could either do it in 8U, but if we do it 8U, we'll be fully populated with patch panels and switches. So we'd most likely put a 12U rack up there for future growth. Now, if we zoom right in, we really need to clean up up this patch panel we would end up cutting up all these cables and then putting them into a new keystone patch panel and then use six inch jacks to go in by doing this we're going to eliminate all of these white cables that are going down and all over the floor so there really won't be a cable mess anymore in saying that everything at this job site is currently up and operational so this would just be more for aesthetics and cleaning up the floor so then when a next contractor goes in they could actually walk in there and by taking out that big rack, we're gonna have a lot more room in that room. If you have any questions about this video, leave a comment below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.